Bond. If I was to explain Bond to someone, I would probably call it eclectic. We're all great friends, so we have a lot of fun together, and it's great to be part of a unit. Gay and I, the cellist and I, met doing session work, because um, we used to do backing for other bands, and we got talking about the idea of doing a quartet that wasn't just backing, that was actually up front. And then we met Hayley, and she introduced us to Tanya, and we had the whole group. We're all classically trained, and uh, we all went to music college, and. I, I, I love classical music. I really enjoyed every other style of music as well. So this was ideal for me because it brings all of those together. The music is quite a mix. It's a lot of different styles. The producer we've been working with has introduced a lot of different flavours to the music. About five pieces were composed by a producer called Magnus Fines, and there are a few other tracks written by a guy called Tonchi, who's from Croatia, and he wrote Victory. Eos wrote a track, and I've also written a track as well. I suppose I've always walked around just singing songs and everything, which, I've, which aren't anything, you know, I've just kind of made them up in my head. With Bond, I thought, well, why don't I write them down and try and do something? So I did, and... Luckily, it got on the album, which is fantastic. There's a Spanish-influenced track um, called Quixote, which is absolutely incredible. Like, it kind of boils your blood. It's great. I love keeping my mind active and having a lot of fun, and this seemed like a great way to do it. Travel to the world, get to um, perform to people on a much larger um, scale. El cariño que te tengo, no te lo puedo negar. I really love it here in Havana because the people are so friendly and everyone's got a really good dance feel about them. You see children walking down the streets kind of dancing along. And when we were shooting some of the stuff in the old town, um, people were just dancing along and, you know, people hanging out of the windows and just kind of clapping. Everybody I've met so far has been really friendly, and the, just the just the whole look of of Havana and everything, the, you know, from the old buildings, it's the paint is peeling off, and you know, bits of plaster sometimes fall on your head and stuff like that. But it's fantastic. We've really been the focus of attention in Cuba since we've been here. We were doing a balcony shot, and Gay had this this gorgeous dress, this lace number, and and some some underwear underneath and she didn't actually have full brief knickers, she had a g-string so I think they were drooling a bit over that one. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I think it's a great setting for this track too because the music definitely um, has Cuban, Cuban and Latin influences so I think the dancers really brought that out in the video and it's just a really great dance track.